Hi guys and welcome to another unboxing video and in this one we're going to have a look at the Intel Core i5 processor. This is the 9600K variant. We picked this processor because it comes out as the best one for gaming overall and it's also excellent for overclocking. Well without further ado let's go to the unboxing. Try not to cut my fingers off in the process. As I carefully avoid cutting my fingers, I might as well tell you about how fast it runs. Well, it has a base frequency of 3.7 GHz, and this can be boosted to 4.6 GHz. It also has a 9 MB Intel Smart Cache. Now, as we take a look inside, we're faced with some more cardboard and another little bit of literature, and there's the chip on the back side there. Now, it's always best to make sure it's a genuine article and should be a sticker, there you go, on the back saying this is a genuine or genuine article of Intel. There's a lot of knockoffs going around, so it's best to always check. Let's just have another little look inside here. Nice to have all the seals here, certainly gives me confidence when buying the product. And as you take a look inside the instruction manual, some nice clear diagrams tell you how to actually install it. It's probably also a good idea to refer to your motherboard manual, not just to rely on this, as they all have their certain quirks. However, the principles are still the same, as I'll show you at the end of this video. I'll actually show you how I actually installed it onto my Aorus Pro Wi-Fi Z390 motherboard. And here it is, here. And it goes just there. Keep getting used to building your own PC by all means, but also keep referring back to the instructions I just did there, Make sure things look similar or at least match. When this chip actually arrived through the post, um, it was just in this box, literally with a label with delivery information on stuck to the outside of it. And I was quite shocked. So I thought, my God, this is probably going to be broken or damaged in some way. So I'm being a little bit careful having a look at this just to make sure it's actually intact. But I guess it is resilient. And as people say, this is built very, very well. However, there are certain things you need to remember when dealing with a chip. Never, ever, ever put your fingers on the outside of the chip, especially underneath. Hold it from the outer edges only, just like that. As you take a look at the chip, there's a triangular point on the side there, only on one corner, and that should line up perfectly with a triangular slot in your motherboard. This is pretty much foolproof and there's only one way to actually install it and literally only one way to put it in properly on the motherboard. Well there you go, this is what you get in there. A box, a chip and some instructions. As you can see at the time of purchase I spent £220 on this item. No doubt you might be able to get some cheaper variants as this is the ninth generation stuff. Now to the installation on the motherboard. More motherboards pretty much look the same, especially if you're using Intel. And they've got this little wire clamp thing, the plastic outer lid. I'm just lifting it back like that. And it's important to just give you a bit of space to work with. If you know someone wearing an anti-static strap, just to make sure things are right. Now I need to make sure I line up the corner, as I just pointed to on the screen there, with the corner of my chip. There's a little triangle or marker. And that's important that I must line up. It will not fit any way. If you do try and fit it in another way, it might damage the pins, therefore make the absolutely unnecessary step of having to replace the whole thing again. But there you go, just gonna plop it in there. It's a nice sort of definite sort of a drop in there. There you go, making sure I'm not touching the outer edges. And as you push the wire clip down, the plastic lid will drop off. And it's important you keep hold of that plastic lid, so if you wish to return the motherboard, you can actually do so, and the manufacturer will keep you within warranty. Now, would I recommend this product? Well, yes, absolutely. Intel's been proven to be very reliable. At this stage, I still would go with Intel over AMD, but that's just my personal preference. Mm -hmm. 